This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain. Gibraltar Global Securities has closed its doors after what it says is irreparable damage to its reputation. The closure means the 15 Bahamian employees are jobless and the 1.5 million Gibraltar contributed to the economy is lost. Founder Warren Davis said he paid a $300,000 fine to the British Columbia Securities Commission as a penalty for engaging in the securities industry in that jurisdiction without being registered. It's something Davis denies. The 10th annual Bahamas International Business and Finance Summit wrapped up this weekend in Bimini. The theme of this year's summit was the Bahamas Advantage, staying ahead of the game. Attorney General Allison Maynard Gibson hopes to see the industry achieve recognition as the best financial services destination in the region. In addition to seeing more Bahamians serving on the Organization for Economic Cooperations and Development Committees. And the Chamber of Commerce continuing its Meet the Minister series next week with Minister of State from Finance, Michael Halkidis. Minister Halkidis will discuss the implications of the recent downgrading, the outlook for the Bahamian economy, and tax reform. And that's a look at your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain.